Hello everyone, my name is Esro. Welcome to the Inverted Fate Asgore fight. For those of you who don't know, Inverted Fate is an alternate timeline made by Dort. The essential premise of this AU is the lot is the final battle against Asriel. You're about to win, but just as you're about to win, Asriel takes his god form, and as he does that, he defeats Frisk in the process. But when he resets the timeline, something goes wrong. And what went wrong is that the lost souls all swapped. Asgore swapped the Toriel, Sam swapped the Papyrus, Alpha swapped the Undying, and uh, those are basically the only swaps the AU has. It's not like first Kara, stuff like that. But this is essentially the first fight, first boss fight of the Inverted Fate series. So let's just jump right into it. Last time I fought a swapped Asgore, I raged, so hopefully I don't this time. Continue. Well, howdy. Back for another round, huh? Or maybe it's your first time playing one of these fights. <laughs> well, good news for you. If you somehow come across this fight and haven't read the Inverted Fate comic, this battle takes place very early in the series. So if you want more context, you could start reading at invertedfate.com to end of part 4B and then play this. Or maybe that doesn't matter to you, and you just want to get into the action. Maybe you're just one of those people who love mashing Z and X to skip all the details. You probably think you know how to win this, huh? You must have all the answers. Well, we'll see how far that gets ya. Good luck! Oh yeah, by the way, there is a happy ending to this. If you can't get it, don't blame me. Use your own brain and figure it out. Ah, it's good to see you up and about, human. Truth be told, there are times when this house gets a bit lonely. Not that I'm ungrateful for all those monsters who come to visit. But they have families of their own, and... Ah, forgive me for rambling. What I meant to say is that I will do my best to provide for you. And if you'd like, you can start your very own garden. Perhaps I'll even teach you how to brew tea. And while I'm no professor, I'll try my best to... Oh yeah, and this AU Frisk talks. <laughs> how do I completely forget that? Um, about that... Is... something wrong? I need to go, bro. Um, I need to... I can't. I'm sorry, but how do I leave the ruins? But... You just arrived. Sure, you need more rest. Here, why don't I read you a story? It's called Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm sorry, Asgore. I gotta go. Don't get me wrong. I like it in here. And you're so nice. But I want to see what else is out there. Please? I understand, child. The ruins are very small, after all. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to show you the way. It's not terribly far from here, anyway. Follow me, human. How tense. Don't worry, human. We'll be alright. I notice how, like, there's slow genocide music playing in the background. By the way, do you wish to return to the surface? No. There's nothing for me up there. I see. But then... Why the rush? It's only been a few hours. There is always more time to see the rest of the underground later. I know, but... I promised somebody. Hey kid! Careful! We don't want to give too much away! Look, it's like I said. I just... 
want to get to know this place better. Ah, uh, very well. Though, I must confess, my knowledge beyond these ruins is limited. And truth be told, you are not the first human to fall. Uh, of course, the, the queen is a very kind ruler. And I know she would never wish for any harm to befall you. And yet, the fact remains that our kind has a poor history with humans. Battles were fought, lies were lost, mistakes were made. I want to believe in you. But though you've done well, the monsters outside may hurt you. And if they do, I will not be there to protect you. But who have I ever truly protected? The words still won't come. Kindness is a virtue. What if you meet a vengeful soul? What if kindness is no longer an option? I do not wish to see you harm another. Unfortunately, there are times when one must fight. If you are not prepared for this, then I advise you to turn back now. No? Then, if you truly wish to leave, I have one last request. Forgive me for this. Asgore. Asgore takes a stand. Attack 80, defense 80, knows what's best for you. Uh. Oh, his attacks are really fast at the end there. Asgore trembles slightly. Talk. You tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. I know it's daunting, but please, stay determined. His attacks are a lot more relaxed than his Undertale counterpart. You shakenly say you won't fight. His breathing gets funny for a moment. I am strong, human. You have nothing to fear. Just think of it like... a final exam. Bro, I hate those! What the fuck? Now those are attacks. Asgore forces a smile. You tell Asgore you won't fight, but the flames keep coming. I am doing this for your own good. So please, fight! Show me you are strong enough to survive! This attack gives me flashbacks, and not very good ones. Talk, but there was nothing more to say. Oh no. Oh shit, what the fuck? The flames in Asgore's hands flicker slightly. Spare. Hmm? Oh, come on! Human, what are you doing? You know, this really goes to showcase the difference between Asgore and Toriel. Toriel will be overprotective to the point where she wouldn't allow anything, but Asgore at least wants to give you a fighting chance. Please, fight! I need to see if you are ready for the trials ahead. The difference between Asgore and Toriel, Toriel's way more protective, but it seems like this Asgore wants to give you freedom in life. So, and he also seems to want to atone for his sins. Asgore, he's not a bad guy at heart. He's just done regretful things in the past, and he wants to atone for them. If you are not ready, that is okay. You could always turn back. Seems like if you touch his hand, he'll hurt you. It's been an eventful day. You don't have to rush. That thing is, I do.
Four Asgore. What the fuck? Human. This isn't accomplishing anything. Got hit at the end there, but it's fine. Don't need to heal yet. I know it's daunting, but you can do this. I have faith in your abilities. It's a lot faster now. Not every monster will accept mercy. Oh shit. Oh no. Let's see, monster candy, bandage, spider donut, toy knife, golden flower tea. And it's just empty after that. Now give me this. You ate the monster candy. You recovered 10 HP. His attacks are gradually getting even faster. Seems like you want to go in a square for that attack. I have heard from Nats the Blook and another dear friend. The world beyond these ruins has changed. And not for the better. I am well aware. I have actually been reading the comic a bit myself. And things get crazy after this point. There are monsters who will try to kill you. Monsters far fiercer than the ones who lie within these rude catacombs. Elite soldiers, vengeful opportunists. Misguided souls embittered by tragedy. I hate this attack. Seems like we made it to the end in one piece. Enough of this. Human, I know you mean well. But even if I let you leave now, you would not be able to return home. You would be trapped here, a human soul, a target for those seeking freedom. And it is all my fault. No. I cannot take this any longer. Human, I do not deserve mercy, and you deserve better than to remain prisoner. Why? Oh, come on! There's more? Oh, shit. He's gonna try to force us to fight. Okay, shit, what do I do now? Uh, talk. There's nothing more to say. Wait, I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. What if I do this? Okay, okay, I figured it out, I figured it out. For a second I was like, wait, if I can't spare him, what am I supposed to do? I just have to keep avoiding attacking him. Oh, shit. I don't know why, but always seeing that attack just daunts me to no end. As long as you keep missing, even now, you refuse to fight. Stay calm, Juan. Stay calm. You! It is not so simple. The barrier stands between you and your freedom.
And there is only one way you can escape. I have not been fully honest with you. Young one, is as I have said before. I have made many mistakes in my life. Chief among them was... declaring war on your kind. I had lost my children. I had lost my hope. I was... a monster in every sense of the word. When I look at you, I am reminded of a child I knew so long ago. You have the same look of hope in your eyes. And the sad truth is, a human cannot leave without claiming a monster's soul. Do you understand now? You want me to kill you? Yes. It's... It's the only chance you have at freedom. If you take my soul, you can cross the barrier. The only other option is to kill Queen Toriel. And she is not the fool who condemned an entire species. She never wanted a war. Aww. It's like Toriel, he, he refuses to attack. But what if I don't want this? I... I don't want to kill you. I don't think you deserve this. But I do. Truly. I am a hypocrite. A coward. I fled from responsibility and hid away from the world. And worse yet, I allowed other humans, other children, to die. And my negligence may have even put dust on their hands. The waterfall incident. Maybe. I wasn't there. I can't judge everything you've done, but I know what I've seen. You've made a difference here. Monsters love you. I can't just take that away. But what about you? Don't you have friends? A family? A life that's waiting for you? Please. The only friend I have is long gone. I ruined everything between us. And I ran away. Just like you. I... I see. And I hurt her. Could have killed her. I'm not some perfect saint. I'm a mess. I just... Pretend to be nice. Because it benefits me. Because I want to be loved. Truth is, I'm... Honestly pretty selfish. Chris has an interesting backstory. I hope you learn more about it in the comic. I don't think it's covered it yet. But just because I'm selfish doesn't mean I'm stupid. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met. You're the first adult to look, me, look at me and actually care. You're... Important. And whatever you did before, you've obviously done everything you can to make up for it. Makes me think there's hope for me, too. Truly. Yeah, so... That's why I can't do this, Asgore. I can't ask you to give up everything for me. And besides, if you're scared, or if you think you haven't done enough, can't you change that? You can always start now. Just taking it one step at a time. Inverted fate starting from zero. <laughs> I suppose. It's what I want to do, too. I think maybe there's got to be another way. Something that doesn't require someone else to die. Not you, not me, not the queen. A friend of mine. You said we could pull it off. But well, we can't do that if we stay here. 
Hmm. I admit, I'm still wary. But how will you ever prove yourself if I refuse to let you try? Human. No matter what you say about yourself, I believe you have a good heart. If there is hope for me to change, then I truly believe the same holds for you. So... Perhaps we can both move forward, in the hopes of a better tomorrow. Oh, Best goat dad. So... What are you gonna do now? If you wanted to come with me... Ah... Uh, I'd love to. But I already fled from my responsibilities once before. Perhaps it seems a bit hypocritical. But the ruins monsters depend on me. Were I to simply leave on short notice, who knows what would happen. But I do think, with time, I could follow in your footsteps. Heh. <laughs> so I guess this is goodbye. Only for now. A fret not, young one. Even if I cannot join you now, I have a friend beyond this door. His name is Papyrus. And I do believe he will make a great companion. No matter where your travels take you. I guess that's not so bad. Oh, but before you go, I have one last gift for you. Is it a hug? Oh, new clothes. Because hose, oh, because Snowden. Aww. Kara? <laughs> I'll, uh, try to stay out of trouble. If you ever need me, human, please do not hesitate to call. Until then, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for everything, Dad. Ooh, that was exhausting. Can't believe I pulled it off. Yes, you defied the odds. Weight has lifted from your shoulders. Okay, I think now is the goodest time as any to ask. What's your deal, voice? You've been narrating everything I do. It's getting kind of weird. Oh, come on. We're gonna go on this epic quest into deadly territory. I think I had to know who's crashing in my headspace. Suddenly you realize you have better things to do. <laughs> Talking to random voices may give people the wrong impression. Fine. If you're not gonna tell me, I'll just call you Captain Cryptic. Golly! Talk about a roller coaster, kid! I was starting to worry I'd have to step in. Honestly, I wouldn't have minded a little help. <laughs> but look at you! You pulled this off on the first try! He was so close to ending it himself, but you got him out of it. Oh, 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 I oh I know what this is referencing. So I never showed this off in my Undertale playthrough, but apparently if you go back after fighting Omega Flowey, Omega Flowey and Flowey doesn't bother to kill Asgore, Asgore would actually kill himself. That... That was the darkest thing I think Undertale has done, and it's done a lot of dark shit. Keep this up, and you'll have the whole underground in the palm of your hand. I guess, but let's not get carried away. If I get an ego, I could totally fuck it up later. I'm not censoring myself. Then I might have to deal with another crummy death. So in the comic, it's actually official that Frisk kills Asgore once, but then goes back to overwrite his death. Hey, think of it this way, pal. If you die or screw it up for real next time, you can just go back. You could do it over and over if you wanted. Heck, even if you messed up on purpose, I wouldn't blame you. Sometimes you just gotta satisfy that curiosity. Why? You've done that before? <laughs> Once or twice. But come on, this kind of power means no limits. The whole world's putty, and you're the sculpture of your own destiny. Maybe. I don't want to overdo it. 
kind of goes against the whole trying to be a good person thing. True enough! But for what it's worth, there is a lot of good you can do for d disability. I should know. I've been around the block. I had my own share of uh, heroic escape aids. Right. About that. What happened? I mean, if you have this power, why haven't you used it? And why do I have it now? Oh, probably because your determination's stronger than mine. So congrats! You don't just have superpowers. You're a special little snowflake. Tch, right. That's a talking flower. But, Flowey. You really have done this before, um... Did we know each other? I mean, call me crazy, but... Sometimes this place just feels... Familiar. Stupid, right? It makes me wonder. Shoot! This could be a problem. If they ever remember what I did. Heh! <laughs> Kid, if we knew each other, I would have told you. And chances are, you would have remembered me. Maybe there's something else going on. We can always look into it on the way to the capital. Huh? You think they'd know out there? Maybe. Maybe not. Got a hunch there's gonna be... There's gonna be some science whizzes, at least. But that's just a guess. We won't know for sure until we get out of this musty place. Right. Guess we've stalled long enough. Can't keep that papyrus guy waiting. Uh, last time I saw papyrus, he killed me over a hundred times between many fan games. <laughs> Inverted Fates by Asriel Dreamer. <laughs> that was a really interesting boss fight. It's it's like a lot of the fights in Inverted Fate are more story based, so they're obviously going to be longer. Not essentially harder, but you're definitely going to have a bit more of a time if you keep getting hit by everything. Overall, I really enjoyed that fight. But I am I do plan on doing a couple bit of the other endings before we end off this video. Because, well, it's like Flowey says, sometimes you gotta satisfy that curiosity. And you're sure you don't want to go with them? Oh, I'd love to, but... Well, it's so short notice. We already had an incident at the grocery store. When I leave, I need to make sure everyone will be alright. Responsibility is quite the burden. Yeah, I bet. After all, you're Santa Claus. I can't think of a bigger responsibility. And the joy and happiness of all. The good little boys, girls, and genderless individuals. Uh, yes, but Papyrus, perhaps it's time I told you the truth. You see, I'm not just- HEY! Wouldn't it be better to save that for when you return? I appreciate your trust, but I'm just one incredibly handsome and talented scientist. Now, don't sell yourself short, Papyrus. You're not just anyone. You've done a world of good for monsters everywhere. Even if they don't realize it yet. Yeah, I won't dispute that. But still, I can't say I envy your position. Nor can I really imagine what it's like. Are you scared? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But what good will hiding indefinitely do? I need to... Uh... Stop being lazy, and take some honest to good initiative. Too true! We don't want to turn it- you Wait, <laughs> I keep fucking up. We don't want you to turn into a lazy bones! Like Sans! But for what it's worth, it'd be nice to spend some more time with you. I know you're busy, but there's so much I want to show you. And maybe, well, you're going to be leaving the ruins then. Perhaps I could. Oh well, you could. <laughs> Come on, Papyrus. It's not that hard. You've known him since you were a kid. His accent is not to your... <laughs> Fucking hell, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh, 
Why don't we discuss this later, Papyrus? I thought Papyrus was gonna ax him out, not ask him to adopt him. <laughs> Perhaps over a cup of tea. Oh, right! Excellent idea, Mr. Claus, sir. I, the great Papyrus, look forward to it. Good, good. And for what it's worth, I promise not to judge you, no matter what you have to say. There's no need to be so self-conscious. Me? Self-conscious? Don't be silly. I'm a bright light of confidence and wit. I just don't want to impose. Well, that's not an issue, but I digress. The humans should be heading your way soon. I don't want to keep you too long. Right, the human, of course. I, the great Papyrus. Eagerly await their arrival. I've been prepared many jaw-dropping japes. Just for this occasion. <laughs> good, good. I'm sure they'll appreciate the efforts. At any rate, do take care, alright? I will. After all, you can't spell care without... Well, two letters for my name. <laughs> but it still counts. Anyway, you're right. I need to get ready. Let's see the human find me chattering away. Instead of giving them my undivided attention. But fear not. I promise I'll protect them with all my might. You have my Papyrus guarantee. I love Papyrus. I just don't like fighting him. Wait, what? Password parting of ways. Okay, we're back here. Let's see. Parting of ways. Mm. Hello. Tutorial steam. Ah! Hello? Oh, Asgore's trident. Asgore! What happened to the child? Oh my fuck. This is the... Where they parted ways. Well! Go ahead! Cross the barrier! Free our people! I can't. You... WHAT?! You pathetic whelp! You made your choice, so see it through! Or did that child's death mean nothing to you? Well, Asgore... Asriel already tried crossing the barrier. And he paid with his life. How dare you! How dare you bring Azriel into this! He was just a child! And if a child was enough for them to take up arms, then I would fare no better. Our freedom would only bring about another war. And with it, a trail of dust. Come back here, you coward! You were right, Tori. I acted rashly. I gave my people false hope. The kingdom deserves a better ruler than me. One whose hands aren't slain with a child's blood. So I'm guessing that's where they split paths and where the story truly began to change. But fucking hell, that was dark. Shit. Wow, never expected you to stick it out this long. You literally defied everything to get a perfect ending. When even a kid couldn't pull off in the actual story. So what are you still hanging around here for? You saved the day, got your extra dialogue. And maybe you're not satisfied. Maybe you want something a bit more... tragic. Heh! Well, go ahead. Have fun. The world's your sandbox, and I'm not taking the shovel away anytime soon. I've got plenty of time to spare. Oh, that is... Wait, hello? Okay, what the heck? Why am I back here? I didn't mess up this time. I've got no reason to backtrack. Ugh, whatever. At least I know what to do. 
Oh no. How are they going to react if I kill him? So once again, everything repeated until... This feeling. I wonder if... Perhaps... Ah, never mind. It doesn't matter. But please, human. You have to understand. I am doing this for you. Ah, uh, he's dead. Well, son, human, you are indeed strong, but I fear I was not completely honest with you. You see, a human cannot pass the barrier alone. It takes a monster soul, but most monsters turn to dust when they die. Their souls disappear. Only I and the Queen possess souls strong enough to persist. And Toriel does not deserve such a cruel fate. I am sorry. I lied. But it is for the best. I am to blame. My foolishness. My arrogance. My grief. Ah, but I am rambling again, human. Take my soul. Leave this cursed place. You are the future of humans and monsters. Asgore! Why are you making me cry? You didn't even absorb his soul, so all of that was for nothing. I was first gonna react. No, that wasn't. I was gonna. Then why'd you do it? I don't know. It's like something came over me. Huh? That's a new one. It makes little sense, but there's no time to dwell on it. There's one way to set things right. So, what are you gonna do now? Are you gonna go back and tidy things up, or. Of course I'm going back. And this time. I won't make any more mistakes. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? You did your best, and the poor staff still died in the end. I didn't even have to do it this time. But you know, it'd be pretty crummy if that was the only outcome. So here's a thought. Try playing again. The kid will remember what happened, so you can use that to your advantage. Who knows? Maybe some of the commands will be different this time. Or you could murder him again. It's up to you. Maybe you're just as hollow as me and want to watch the world burn. But I kind of need him alive, so... Try not to waste my time. <laughs> what? Back here again. It's fine. Asgore's safe inside. I'm not gonna mess it up again. Okay, weird voice. I think now's a good time as I need to speak up. Do you know anything about what's going on here? No. It was not my desire to turn back the clock. Okay, so that rules you out. Definitely wasn't me. You think it was Flowey? I wouldn't put it past him, but it's doubtful. I can still feel the connection to your save file. Huh. <laughs> At least there's that. But why does skepticism with Flowey? Some things are too good to be true. Remember that. Yep, still cryptic. Go figure. Hey, Flowey. You didn't have to do anything with this reset, did you? Who? Me? Don't be silly, kid. I want to move forward just as much as you do. Besides, I don't have that kind of power anymore. Okay, but... What else could keep bringing us back here? It's not you, it's not me, it's not... Well, the point is, I'm d I doubt Asgore has magical time powers. You know, I gotta wonder. Maybe there's someone out there, right now, watching everything play out. And maybe they're so in love with this little scenario, that they just can't let it go. <sighs> what, like a god or something? Better than the fourth wall. Sure, why not? 
make as much sense as anything else, right? Right... Well, as soon as I find in our save point, I'm putting a stop to this. Going through the same thing over and over again can really take its toll on you. Kid, you have no idea. But enough about that! Let's at least try to get some forward momentum going. Another temporal spike? That explains the tingles. And confirms my suspicions. Wowee! I wonder what that human is doing. Hopefully they aren't hurt. Or hurting anyone. But Mr. Claus did say they're a kind soul. And I, the great Papyrus, have no reason to doubt their integrity. Hey bro, what you monologuing about? Sans! Hey! Shouldn't you be on patrol? Heh, <laughs> nah. I'm on one of my legally required breaks. A likely story? Ah, it still astonishes me how a guard of your rank can get away with so much slacking. I prefer to think of it as pacing. Pacing will require more movement, sons. Not just popping up behind me with probing questions. Come on, bro. I thought you liked japes. Yes! Shapes with effort! Jump scares don't count! <laughs> Guess I'll bring the trombone next time! Oh my god! Nice extra piece of dialogue. <laughs> Elsewhere. Ugh. Another reload! I get it! You're testing the waters, aren't you, punk? Seeing how much you can get away with. Well, too bad for you! I won't forget this. I know exactly what you're playing at. If you're gonna abuse that power, fine. Just gives me more reason to tear that soul from your body. Shit, Undying knows about the resets now? Holy fuck. That's a concept and a half. Either way, this is a strategy game, so you can actually play it on your phone. I'll leave links to the play to the fights and the chapters of Inverted Fate in the in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed. It's been Esserol. Peace.